people. It's a bit of an early Saturday morning. I'm headed north uh, on PCH. Driving the 2020 Dodge Charger SRT. This is their, their Scat Pack edition. So I'm gonna skedaddle by hitting the Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee first. Seeing some cool cars. And then I'm heading up to the Murphy Museum because today is our first day of art install for the upcoming uh, Fireball Gallery and the grand reopening at the Murphy Museum. We got three artists coming in. They're gonna be slapping stuff on the walls and I'm gonna be there to make sure everything flows smoothly. So today is basically cars, art, and coolness. This is Chuck. We are at Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee, an amazing show, uh, especially because you brought this thing in. Brought Uncle Buck today. Uncle Buck, uh, which is your official uncle, I would say. Well, it's, it's the only one that'll claim me. <laughs> 1926. Six Model T Roadster pickup. The second year that Ford actually made a, a factory pickup truck. Now, when we went for a spin, I thought we were going to go putt-putt around the parking lot, but you were hauling ass over behind the building over there. And she moves. She moves. She does. Now, How long have you had this thing? I've had it a couple of years. <laughs> I've had it a couple of years. I've got a couple of old cars, but I wanted something that was primitive, but not so primitive I couldn't well, find parts for. Yeah. And, and what, what's the best thing about having a car like this? Um, Everywhere I go, people smile. That's the nicest thing. They wave, they smile. Other old cars I have, people kind of wonder what it is here. It's instant recognition and brings smiles to people's faces. It, it pays to be vintage. It pays to be vintage. As we all are. I'd like to think of myself as vintage or seasoned, and Uncle Buck is 94 years old, definitely seasoned. Well, thank you for the scan. Hey, my pleasure. It. Thank you, Tim, okay. as always. Right. Okay. You bet. Sorry, Tim.
Mark, what are you doing? Gentlemen, Mark Sterenberger, one of uh, eight artists. Hi, David. Photobomb. Photobombing. And uh, uh, you're getting all your pieces up today. Yeah. But having trouble deciding which one because they're all so fabulous. Well, uh, you know, we take the, the bottom row, the bottom one. Yeah. yeah. I, I figure maybe instead of putting pieces up, why don't we just hang you up there? You know what? I, it People crossed can my bid. mind. It crossed my mind. Yeah. And I figured, uh, you know what? Uh, you, yeah. know, you have to feed me. Yeah, yeah, until you sold. If you don't feed me, I turn blue. We might have to pay someone to take you away. Probably, too. You know, <laughs> uh, Harrison or what are they called? You know, they come with the big uh, dump truck. Yeah, yeah, right. One, one time. Or the porta potty companies. You know, they'll do it. Maybe, yeah. A little left, Joff. Wait, no, a little to the right. How's that? Like down, that? down about a quarter inch, and rotate by a half an inch. Uh, I think we need to match that uh, that sign over there, so it's kind of like that, right? I, I don't know. More like that? Is that, is that? is that work? Whatever, it doesn't matter. The world famous Wheels and Waves this weekend. It's Sunday. It's showtime. up MC Ken Vela for another edition of Wheels and Waves. Why? Every Thursday we're out here in Malibu, beautiful Malibu, right here, right now. 